What's up guys? In today's video, I'm gonna be taking you through the best pull workout for natural aesthetics. Let's go. So today we're gonna to be doing a back, biceps, and rear delts. Basically any of the muscles that are gonna be involved in any pulling motion. So for my pre-workout today, I've got one scoop of the Abe pre-workout. This is bubblegum crush flavor. I also took one scoop of the Ghost non-stim thermogenic, which is why I'm sweating already. Typically to start a pull workout, I like to work um, one lat individually. So I'll work one side unilaterally. That way I can get a better contraction or squeeze in the muscle. I feel like uh, the mind muscle connection is a little bit better when you're working one side individually. So we're gonna start off with a single arm row here on the cables. We're gonna be using one of the D handles. I've got one of the incline benches set up right here. That way I can just use it for stability. I'm gonna get a full stretch right here. Really let it, the cable kind of pull in. Let it tug on my lats a little bit. Get a good stretch right here. And I'm gonna start by squeezing or contracting my lats. I kind of like to rotate the handle just a little bit so I'll start here like almost parallel and then I'll rotate it slightly so I'm like almost underhand grip here at the bottom and then I'm really trying to control the weight the whole time so right here I'm really trying to like milk the movement as much as I can really keep that tension on my lats Second exercise for back, we're gonna be doing a pen lay row. This is probably one of my favorite back exercises. It's a bit more technical, but it's really good for developing the upper back and then just the overall thick back. It was originally intended to be an explosive movement, but I like to make it a little bit more bodybuilder friendly where I'm controlling the weight throughout the whole movement. So even on the way down, I'm gonna control the weight. I used to do it more of an explosive movement where I explode up and then just drop the weight basically, which it works pretty good. But for what I'm trying to do now, just building an aesthetic physique, I wanna control the weight and just really focus on squeezing my back throughout the whole movement. So if you guys have access to bumper plates, I would recommend starting with bumper plates. These are just regular plates. The bumper plates are gonna get the, even if you had five kg or, or two and a half kg on each side, it would still get the, the bar off the ground a little bit more. Whereas with regular plates, it's gonna be lower to the ground, it's gonna make it harder. The bumper plates are gonna allow you to get that bar off the ground. You kinda wanna have your feet about shoulder width, slightly outside of shoulder width. And then you wanna bend your knees. You wanna focus on keeping your back parallel to the ground almost. Right here, and keep my core tight. I like to use a belt, and just help stabilize my core. So here. focus on pulling like right below your nipples almost. And just like with any other exercise, you wanna make sure that you can use a weight that you can handle. You wanna be able to control the weight and not allow the weight to control you. No direction. I just wanna call you to feel safe, but I got no reception. I always wanna know what's wrong, what's wrong. But end up coming off too strong, too strong. And I just wanna help. Will you let me in? Will you let me in? Penley rows are definitely a bit more technical, require a bit more practice. So start light, practice your form, make sure you perfect your form before trying to go heavier and add more and more weight. Next up, we got a lap pull down. I like this machine though, because you're able to use both sides independently, which is nice because that way you don't develop like a muscle imbalance with your lats. Also too, one tip guys that really helps with back training, I like to use a thumbless grip on most all of the back exercises that I do. 
That way it kind of minimizes the arm engagement. It really helps me focus more on the back. Will you let me in? Help me help you. Help me help you. I'll do what it takes. I'll make a mistake. One of the keys with back training, guys, is you want to use a variety of movements. As you saw, I did a row. I've done a unilateral cable row. Now I'm doing a pull down. So I'm trying to hit my back from different angles. And that's one of the keys with developing an aesthetic back. The back has a lot of muscles. You've got your lats, your teres, traps, upper lower traps. You've got your rhomboids. So you've got to hit it from different angles with a variety of different hand placements as well. So throughout this workout, you'll see a variety of different movements. It's not just all rows or pull downs. I'm using a variety, just trying to mix it up and make sure that I develop an overall aesthetic back. Also too, one thing right now, guys, you're not gonna see a ton of like detail in my back right now, just because I got done with a lean bulk. I'm not like as shredded as like if I was gonna do a competition. So, and I do store more of my body fat on my back. Like right now you can see my six pack, but my back's not gonna be like super defined. But as I get leaner and leaner, you'll start to see like the cuts coming in, like the details in the back coming in, which is a result from training like this during that lean bulk. Next exercise, guys, we've got T-bar row, but they don't have a T-bar here. So what we're actually gonna do is sub it in for something else. And this workout is actually from my app where I've got all my workouts. I'm gonna put a link down in the description. If you guys wanna try it out, you can get a seven day free trial. This is from my advanced push-pull workout program. It's a six day per week program. So if you guys wanna check that out, click the link down in the description. So in place of the T-bar row, what we're actually gonna do is a dumbbell row on an incline bench, which is good because you're still getting that stabilization like if you're on a T-bar row and you also get the benefit of using dumbbells so each side is going to be working independently now i don't do this one very frequently so my form might not be like spot on but i'm going to do the best i can we're not going to go super heavy just kind of get the feel for it now i got in on a slight incline that's maybe like 30 degree incline so not super high i want to keep my chest right here on that bench let the weight kind of hang down, stretch my back, and then I'm gonna start by squeezing my back. Hold it for a second here at the top, controlled on the way down. I can't go back to you, my friend. Don't need an ask, don't play pretend. You think you are everything I need, but I gotta leave. Last exercise for back, we're actually gonna be doing a cable pullover. So you always wanna make sure that you include some sort of a pull down a row and also a pull over where you're actually going over like whether with a dumbbell or on a cable. So we're gonna be using one of these rope attachments. You wanna stand out maybe like a step or two from the tower, bend your knees a little bit, get a good stretch right here in your lats and then start by contracting your lats. Hold it for one second here and then control it on the way up. So I allow myself to come in a little bit to get a good stretch right here, and then I slowly move back. That's gonna allow me to go from fully stretched to fully contracted. Ready? You got it, Zach. Since we don't have like a lot of time, we're actually gonna do one where both sides are working together. We're gonna do this reverse pec deck right here. What I like to do is just put my chest right here on the pad instead of sitting down. So I'll just lean over, put my chest right on the pad like that. And then right here, I'm gonna really focus on squeezing my rear delts and then keeping my rear delts contracted throughout the whole movement. So I'm gonna hold it for one second at the peak contraction and then control it on the way in. Just really keep that tension on the muscle. And 
since the rear delts are a smaller muscle group, I don't want to use too heavy of a weight or do too low of reps. That way I can make sure that I keep tension on the muscle and not use my back to help take over the, the exercise. So I want to go a little bit lighter and just really focus on squeezing those rear delts. First exercise for biceps, we're going to be doing an alternating dumbbell curl. So I'm going to go for eight reps. I'm going to start by flexing my triceps here at the back and then start by squeezing or contracting my biceps to start the movement. Hold it for one second at the top. Control on the way down. Second exercise for biceps, we're gonna be doing an incline bench dumbbell curl. We're gonna be going both sides at the same time and we're gonna be doing a slight rotation. So, reason being is right here with the triceps flexed, the biceps are gonna be fully lengthened and then we're gonna start by contracting our biceps. Here, pull it for a second at the top, control it on the way down. And the whole time I want to keep tension on the biceps. Now you want to go a little bit lighter than you would on like a standing curl because the biceps are going to be in their fully lengthened position which is going to be weaker than if you're in the middle of the strength curve. So since I have my elbows back my biceps aren't going to be as strong as if I was working just like in a standing curl position. One more exercise for biceps and then we're done. Last exercise of the workout, guys. We're gonna be doing a seated dumbbell hammer curl. We're gonna be holding it for three seconds so at the peak contraction. So we right here, up, hold it for three seconds, control it on the way down. We're really trying to squeeze the brachialis by like the side of your arm. Hold, controlled on the way down. That hold at the top is gonna to make it significantly harder. That's gonna wrap up that workout. If you guys have any questions about this pull workout or just any other workout in general, any fitness information, just let me know down below in the comments. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Next workout is actually gonna be a leg workout. So I'll see you guys in the next video.